Never settle for less. Because when you settle for less, you will always be less. And of course, when you settle for something very less, then of course you put yourself into a predicament in the circumstance of having a small world. So that means your garden is not expanding, it's not growing, it's not doing no kind of businesses, it's not doing no form of growth. So of course, if you're not growing, then that means you're shrinking. And when you're shrinking, then that means you're not using your power. Feel me? Because you're not utilizing something for your purpose and of course for you to basically get from the next bridge to the next town to the next city to the next states and when you're staying in one area and location for way too long you ever heard of the term body breakdown you start aging and you start getting into a circumstance and a situation of going to detriment that's what's going to basically happen especially when you're hanging on and of course too comfortable with a circumstance and situation in your life when you're relying on someone or something of course being codependent on a person or a place or thing and when you're too codependent <clears throat> that, that situation becomes very catastrophic as well because you're relying and of course you're putting more heavy weight and more baggage on the individual or thing that you're relying on and when you put too much reliability on these things and don't take comfortable you don't take responsibilities of having and creating your own area and location or your own way of basically going about getting that one two three then you place yourself into an area and location of going to setbacks and setbacks and trials and tribulations become very harder and when you limit yourself and of course when you put pretty much put boundaries on yourself you put a ritual and spell on yourself you put a energy on yourself that to keep following you and that energy is like a joe cloud when these joe clouds keep hovering of course hovering around you these things are kind of like you know got a shit and they got a piss so when it's shedding and pissing and when it's leaving this ven venom and of course stinging you in certain areas and locations then this basically you're carrying a whole lot of dead weight in you're in dead weight and you're feeling dead and you're feeling down and you're feeling depressed and of course when you get deeply down there in that area and location you're going to meet jamaica and it's going to be up to you to basically put in that work that fight and get your way up out of that or you're going to basically be going through a sinkhole just like the movie when that kid was looking for that boat he went down that drain and penny pennywise took his ass so you're going to meet pennywise you're going to meet the devil when you are too deeply depressed and when you're worrying about things and when you're holding on to things. If you don't allow yourself to be naked and free and get like Adam and Eve naked, then you place a whole lot of fruits and vegetables that start to become snails, parasites, maggots, and these things start to basically come out and accumulate. And of course, when these things are not getting taken care of or eaten or backbiting, these things will come out and bite you. And now who's the fruit? You? Yeah. So, yeah.